Hi everyone, so as we're pretty much halfway through the year now, I thought it would be a good idea to take stock of all the beauty products that I want to either be completely used up with or to be working on trying to use up by the end of this year. So that's what I want to talk about in today's video. I've gone through all of my beauty related products, all of my skincare, hair care, makeup. I've got them right behind me here on my dressing table. You might be able to see some of them but I wanted to really kind of get an idea as to which items I want to be working on using up and hopefully have used up some of them, if not most of them, by the end of this year. So I've got a few products, quite a few products that I want to talk about. So I'm hoping this video won't be super long. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet when I talk about each product and just kind of say briefly why I want to be using up these products. So let's kick things off with hair care then. I have four hair care products here that I want to either be completely used up with or to have been trying to use them up by the end of this year. Now one that I think I can probably get used up by the end of this year because it's going to replace the root lift spray that's in my project pan that I'm very very close to being used up with. And this is the Dove Oxygen Moisture Root Lift Spray for Fine Flat Hair. And I've had this for a number of years. It's a product I've kind of dipped in and out of. It's probably expired by now because it's only got a 12 month shelf life. And I just want to get this used up because I don't think it's any good. And I just have quite a few hair care products in my collection. And this is one that I don't really feel does the job. So it's one that I can kind of get used up and get out of my collection. I have a couple of products that are for blow drying. The first one is the Bedhead Superstar Queen for a Day Thickening Spray by TG. And I bought this as a Sally Hughes recommendation. I, as you can tell, have very fine, flat, limp hair. Very difficult for me to get some volume into it. And she suggested this in one of her, is it the Telegraph or the Independent she writes for? In one of her beauty columns, she said that it's really good for getting some lift at the roots. I find that it doesn't really work on me like a lot of these root lift sprays mousses they don't really work on my hair so another one that I just need to get used up with it's a big 284 can and there's still quite a lot of product left in this one but hopefully I can be done with this one by the end of the year and then once I've used that one up I'm gonna work on the Tresemme mousse volume and lift salon finish don't expect I'm going to be done with this one by the end of the year, but if I can start on working it up, I'll be happy with that. And it's just a standard mousse. Apply a golf ball size to your roots, comb through, and again, it's meant to give you some lift. I find mousse works better for me than products like this, but even still, I just find it quite difficult to get lift in my hair. So I think I need to kind of step away from these products because they just don't really work for me. And then the fourth and final hair care product I want to, I think, start trying to use this one up. This is one that I might not get round to using. I am trying to pan, I don't think I can see it behind me. Or can I? It's slightly hidden up here, but it's the TG Smoothing Lusterizer. And once I have used that up, I will replace it with this. But I do have quite a bit of that Smoothing Lusterizer left, so I might not get round to this. But if I can start to try to use this one up, I'll be very happy with. Maybe it's one I can kind of dip in and out without including in a, in a project pan. But this is the Bed Head by TG Small Talk 3-in-1 Thickifier, Energizer and Styler. And again, I bought this as like a thickening, volumizing type of product. Again, it doesn't really work for me. And this is one that I kind of forget how to use. So whenever I go to use it, I have to Google it. <laughs> And there is quite a bit of product left in here, and this is quite old as well. I did buy it quite a few years ago. It smells lovely though. I love the smell of all the bedhead products. I think they smell so good. But yeah, just another real kind of irrelevant product in my hair care routine, one that I need to get used up and get done with. I've got a few tanning products next, and I need to get these used up because I'm very lazy when it comes to tanning my body. I just can't be bothered and the first product that I want to be used up with is the Tanologist Self Tan Mousse Express Tan Medium. I bought this last summer. I think I have only used this once and it's right up to the top as to how much I have left. And this style of tanning especially is where I am very lazy with tanning because there's just so much effort involved in fake tanning your body. You have to shave everywhere, you have to exfoliate everywhere, make sure you've moisturised places like your elbows and your knees and then you've got to apply it really precisely so it doesn't 
streak or go patchy or build up too much in one place and not enough in another and there's a lot of upkeep as well and then when it fades it fades patchily and you just look like a, a tiger or a zebra in the end and I just I can't be bothered with a fake tan so I need to stop buying products like this and just stick to a tanning body moisturizer instead because I find them so much easier now this one I do have quite a bit left I'm right up to here but if I use this all over my body, I will get through quite a bit of product. So if I include this in a project pan and really focus on using it up, then hopefully it shouldn't take me too long. But I'm I'm not going to look forward to panning this product because I don't really enjoy using a fake tan in this format anymore. But it's just been sat on my, on my dressing table for months, untouched. So I need to get it used up. Now I did say I prefer a tanning body moisturiser, but I do have a couple. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but I've got a big tan luxe body tanning moisturiser. That's excellent. And much better than this, which is the Dove Dermaspa Summer Revived Tanning Lotion. Now on a budget, this is the best one I've tried. So it is good, but it's just that the tan luxe is that bit better. And I would use the tan luxe over this one. So this is one that I need to focus on using up so it doesn't get neglected. I have panned one of these before and when I put my mind to it and when I try and force myself to use a body moisturiser, I can do it. So I know that if I put my mind to it, this should only take me a month to use up. I do have a body lotion in my current project pan, so I think once that one's used up, I might focus on this one or I might try to start using this one and alternate the two. And third tanning lotion, tanning product, is the Skinny Tan coconut water face serum tanning drops i don't think these are that good you have to use quite a bit of the product to notice the result and then i find that i get like a dodgy line around my face again much prefer the tan Lux tanning drops but these were a fraction of the price and i wanted to try a different brand but again another item that i need to include in my project pan and really sort of like focus on using up because since i bought these and tried them a few times haven't really used them since I just had to change the battery because the battery died so hopefully the setup is pretty similar so next i want to talk about a couple of skincare items first one is one i've had in my bathroom cabinet for quite some time and i am going to use this once i've used up my current retinol and this is the visage skin refine retinol serum now this is from a shopping channel called gemporia and that's where i tend to get a lot of my jewelry from but they have started doing makeup and skincare and I'm aware this might sound quite snobby, but I am not expecting this to be particularly good. I wouldn't tend to purchase retinol from a shopping channel's own brand of retinol. I would tend to stick to more brands like Medicaid, more kind of well-established brands, especially when it comes to something like retinol. And also on this, this hasn't actually said the percentage of retinol as well, so I'm quite unclear as to how strong this is. But I do want to get this used up and j just to kind of see if it is actually any good. But once I have used up this and my Medicaid one, I do want to start using like um, a subscription one like Skin and Me. Maybe go for like a stronger strength retinol, especially as you know, I'm 32 and a half now so I do want to up my retinol that I am using and the next skincare item is unfortunately another mask I have too many face masks that I've been trying to kind of use up this year but I think this is the last one and this is by Aven, Aven, never sure how to pronounce it but it's the redness relief soothing mask and I bought this to take on holiday with me back in March because I find that when I go on holiday my skin reacts a little bit it gets a little bit <laughs> a little bit mardy a little bit sensitive with the fact that I've just gone abroad and I bought this just in case it flared up, in case it had any reactions to any of the skincare products that I was using. Fortunately, it didn't, which is good, but it does mean that I am left with this mask. <laughs> so I want to get this one used up. And I do have like a pink mist on my face. I went for a 3D skin analysis a few months ago. More than that, actually, maybe about six months ago. And it does like a real deep delve into how your your skin looks and I do have a little bit of like a faint pink mist that's how the therapist described it on my face so even though if my skin isn't angry or really red I'm hoping that this can reduce some of that pinkness now this is pretty much nearly full it is 50 mils but again if I include this in a project pan and try and focus on it hopefully it won't take me too long to use it up 
And then the other body related item is a hand cream. It's by Lush and it's the Sweet Wild Orange one. I have already started using this. I'm about a centimetre down already. It smells lovely. And this shouldn't be a problem for me to use up at all because I use hand creams every day, multiple times during the day. And once I have used up the hand cream that's currently in my project pan, I will include this one. So this one will definitely be used up by the end of the year. And then the last section of products I want to talk about is all makeup. And my makeup inventory is still a little bit larger than I would ideally like it to be. So I've gone through my makeup collection and pulled out all the items that I either want to be used up with this year or think that I can use up. So let's get started on those. First one is a primer and it's my Bobbi Brown face base. I have a small 15ml tub. Mm, it's quite bright, you can't really see that. I've got about half of this left and I I don't really want to use this up because I love this product but I, I kind of want to use it up in a way so I can try other primers. I want to sort of see if there's any other primers, maybe slightly cheaper primers that might work a bit better for me or work just as well as this one. But I know that I love this one so this is one that I'm going to repeat purchase but I don't often wear a primer so I don't really want this to be sitting around for a long time untouched not getting used but I have about seven mils left of this one so this will be a real easy one for me to use up next are a couple of foundations one that is going to go in my project pan once I've used up the bare minerals complexion rescue that's in my project pan and it's the elf flawless finish foundation and I seem to recall a video a while ago with Kelly Gooch where she spoke about this foundation and she said that it is actually quite small. It's not a full 30 mils. Now it doesn't say on the actual bottle how big it is, but I seem to recall it being something like 23 mils. Don't quote me exactly, but I seem to recall that number. So it's maybe like a, a third less, just under a third less than a standard size foundation and I have used this quite a few times so hopefully once this is in my project pan it should only take a couple of months and then it will be used up. I've had this for quite a while as well so I kind of want to get this one used up and when I have used it I've not really loved how my foundation has looked and I love shopping for different foundations so I want to be using up my older ones so I can get some new ones in and try some new and exciting ones like this one and this is a mini Giorgio Armani luminous silk and I got this as a sample and this is only five mils and I can easily be done with this one but I want to have panned my elf one first and my bare minerals one because I really want to focus on this one I really want to take some time to see if I like this because this is one of those foundations that I am tempted to buy full size of but if I don't get on with the sample I obviously don't want to buy the full size so this is another one that I want to be used up this year. I will be, but maybe it won't be until near the end of the year. I've only got one cheek type product that I want to work on panning this year, and it's by Fenty Beauty, and it's the powder bronzer. I'm currently panning the cream bronzer, and I've got a nice big pan going on in it, but the cream and the bronzer one are the same age. <laughs> I've had them for the same amount of time, and they only have a shelf life of 12 months and that 12 months is coming up pretty soon and I want to be working on using this one up and also I have the Vive bronzing duo and I think I prefer it to this so another reason why I want to get this one used up and I don't see why I can't at some point include this one in my project pan and layer it over the top of the cream bronzer by Fenty and I think as well in certain lights I can start to see some of the the pan some of the ring underneath maybe so hopefully it shouldn't take me too long i have a few eyeliners i want to use up one that i'm wearing today just a faint little line is my kvd black liquid eyeliner now i don't often wear a black liquid eyeliner because i'm rubbish at it i find that the line feathers i can never get a nice smooth crisp line i also can't do a wing so i don't even attempt to do that anymore my technique with liquid eyeliners is rubbish and I also find because it's liquid, it's very harsh, it's very precise. And I prefer something a bit softer on my eyes rather than like a real harsh liner. Especially black as well. I am trying to move away from black eyeliner and black mascara because I just find that brown is more flattering. So I don't feel like I really have much use for a product like this anymore. So I really want to work on getting this one used up. But I'm not sure if I want to include it in a project pan and really focus on it. But I might have to try and force myself to try and use these maybe on days where I'm not really fussed if my makeup turns out bad or not so maybe not on a filming day like I've done today 
but yeah don't really enjoy these types of products anymore want to get this one used up and then I've got two pencil eyeliners both by peaches and cream and I love peaches and cream for their pencil eyeliners because they're really pigmented they're creamy they glide on and they last all day so just an excellent all-round affordable pencil eyeliner oh excuse my phone but they're just in colors that I don't really wear that often so I've got one in the shade Nile which is a gorgeous turquoise beautiful for the summer and then I've got Dynasty which is like a burnt copper now I took this on holiday with me and what I did is I wore them all over the lid and then blended them out with a brush and they looked beautiful so I think when it comes to me panning these that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna draw them all over the lid blend them out and then that should hopefully mean I get through them a lot quicker but yeah they're just colors that I don't really reach for I have to include them in things like shop my stashes to actually get them used next item is a brow gel 24 hour brow setter it's a mini so because it's a mini shouldn't take me hopefully too long to use up definitely hopefully maybe <laughs> I should be done with this one by the end of the year now I really love this it's what I have on today I haven't filled my brows in it's an excellent brow setter just pushes your brows up keeps them in place but I want to try other brands of brow products so maybe Patrick Ta, Refai so just want to experiment a little bit with brow products and that's really why I want to use this one up this year. And then all the other products are lip products. Now I love lip products but I do have too many of them and I do have quite a few duplicates as well or very very similar shades. Particularly with the lipsticks but I want to start off with the lip liners. First one is MAC Strip Down. It's a mid neutral slightly warm nude brown shade quite similar to oak that's in my project pan and then once I've used up oak I will pan this one so this one I will definitely start working on panning it this year and hopefully should be done with it fingers crossed and then the next one is max factor in the shade pink princess it's what I've got on my lips today just smudged out with a bit of mac oak and I do feel like it is quite a nice toned down pink shade but on its own it is quite vibrant it is quite blue based it's like a, a raspberry pink not really in my shade and also I've had this for years I think I must have bought this back in 2015 2016 now in terms of hygiene it's not too bad you can just sharpen it but I don't really want to be bringing this into my collection next year I want to finally get it used up and there's not a load of it left so if I include it in a project pan and force myself to wear it I should be done with it right and then the lipsticks four lipsticks I've got my eyes on I don't for one moment think I'm going to be done with all four of these lipsticks that this year I think that would be an amazing feat if I was to use that four lipsticks by the end of the year but these are shades that I want to start using up so the first one is by Nick Chapman and MAC and it's this sort of peachy coral pink shade quite nude but just doesn't really work for my skin tone on its own but I layer up a lot of my lipsticks now so if I layer this with another shade it will work fine and then the other three shades are all very similar so I have NYX B52 which is a dupe for MAC Foam which I also have here as well and then I have NYX Euro Trash, which is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And all three of these lipsticks are very similar. They are a light to mid pink berry mauve shade. Apart from Faux, which is slightly more blue based. Now Faux used to be my favorite lipstick, but having done my lipstick challenge, I feel like Faux is potentially a bit too blue based for me now. And I do have a couple of other lipsticks in my collection that are quite similar to these shades as well. And I just don't need multiple shades of the same sort of lipstick. So I want to get these used up. And they have been in my collection for possibly a couple of years now. So again, want to get these used up. And then the final product is a lip balm. And it's the La Roche-Posay Seeker Plus Lip Balm. I like this, but I don't love it. I find that it doesn't last very long on the lips as well so it's one that I have to kind of either apply a lot of or keep reapplying and I much prefer my Laneige, Laneige however you pronounce it, lip balm in the tub, in, in the pink tub, that's the one I've got, much prefer that over this so want to get this one used up so I can then focus more on the Laneige one. Now I have about half of this left 
so it shouldn't really be much of an issue and I wear lip products all year round every single day throughout the day so if I focus on this if I try to pan this this one shouldn't be an issue at all to pan especially as we move into the autumn and winter months here in the UK where the weather gets quite cold my lips dry out a bit more so this product will really start to come into its own then so those were all of the beauty items that I either want to have used up or start using up this year and I know I've only got six months left of the year and I know that I've included a lot of products in this video so don't get me wrong I am not assuming for one second that I'm going to be used up all of these items but if I can use up most of them and then start using up the rest I will be super happy so expect to start seeing a lot of these products in things like project pans and also shop my stashes and then hopefully by the end of the year and next year my collection will be a lot more streamlined and I won't have as many duplicates I won't have unnecessary products just sitting there not getting used so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it please also let me know as well any products that you yourself want to be used up with by the end of this year always really interested to hear your comments with things like this so thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon for my next one bye